Jamal, thanks. In your Positively Richmond, a local film is raking in the awards, and now it's hopeful yet heartbreaking story will soon be heading to a TV screen near you. And 8 News anchor Deanna Albritton sat down with the local youth advocate behind this documentary. She joins us now live with more details on the expected impact right here in Central Virginia. Deanna. That's right, Heather. At the center of those conversations were scenes that looked just like the ones you're about to see here. What you might see in cities across Central Virginia, girls all dressed up, dancing with their fathers, but these fathers are behind bars. It's their relationship with their daughters that's moving audiences and even critics to tears. Okay, just be very careful. I'm gonna leave you to it. All right. There's no indication it's anything but an ordinary Wednesday at Girls for a Change on Buford Road. That's how Angela Patton, the founder of the youth development organization, wants it to be. The core of the mission, the same, even as she's being talked about all over the world for her father-daughter dances. Father-daughter dances are so important in helping uplift our girls and raise young girls. In these dances, though, the daughters are getting a chance to hug and dance with a father they usually don't even get to touch. The girls' fathers are in jail. First time ever wearing a suit, honestly. <laughs> Planning began with the first father-daughter dance for girls in her Camp Diva program. All right. Many of the girls shocked to learn some of their friends' dads wouldn't attend one until they'd served their sentences were determined to find a solution. Which made so many people who experienced these dances in the jail um, forget where they were, you know, for a moment. The dance is served as a celebration of completing a father responsibility program. And after the first few years in the Richmond and Petersburg jails, the dances serve to bring Patton's effort more attention. ABC World News Tonight, magazine covers, and this emotional TED Talk. I have had my father in my life always. He's even here today. Her father's eyes filled with as much pride as they were tears. Her talk moving several filmmakers too. I know, oh, that's okay. <laughs> I actually chose to work with Natalie Ray um, as a co-director on the film because she was the only woman and she was also the only one who understood that the girls needed to be at the center of this. It was going to be a love story. A love story between the connection and the bonding between a father and a daughter. And the film, Daughters, wooed audiences and critics alike, claiming two top awards at the prestigious Sundance Film Festival. Daughters. And now she has a deal with Netflix to bring daughters into your living room. You know, the work is a lot and it um, is heavy. You know, I've been to, you know, like I said, 15 dances in the jail and I've seen the film multiple times because at Sundance your film is screened about six to eight times and I cry at every one and um, and it you know always makes me emotional because I um, want to do more than the dance and more than a film um, hopefully not only are we able to make some changes right here in my hometown, Richmond, Virginia, but this just spreads, you know? This is when you want something to spread. I want it to be contagious. <laughs> Absolutely. Already, attention from this film has helped Patton fund an education fund for the girls featured in the documentary. She's also seeing more movement on her local impact campaign to provide support for her girls with similar experiences and even the girls who don't exactly have the same experience but have been instrumental in helping spread the awareness around this documentary. I gotta tell you, as a dad, it was emotional for me watching this piece because the connection between a father and daughter, it's a strong connection. Yeah, and it's been actually so strong, Eric, that she tells me 95% of the fathers who participated in this program have not gone back to jail. Oh, wow. that's, that's how impactful this is. And this has been a, a, a point to not go back to jail. Correct, yes. yeah. Wow, really good report. Yes. Uh, emotional and hopefully life-changing for everyone involved. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. Good job.